Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The direct purchase and pricing question email line from you to me and my hand-picked crew with your questions about this or any watch you find here on Watchbox Reviews, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a legend crafted by a legend, the Carrie Voudelainen Vauntweet. The 28, 39 millimeters in white gold. This is a model launched back in 2011 by AHCI member and all-around good guy, Carrie Voudelainen. The quietest guy at any SIHH and the most interesting once you get him going. And this watch reflects a lot of his original thinking. The Finnish-born, Swiss-trained watchmaker, ultimately crafting a timepiece that is contemporary in its engineering, but classical in its details. 39 millimeters, you can see the timepiece is also 11.2 millimeters thick and 48 millimeters lug to lug with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now jumping out a little bit, by the way, you might notice we have some new equipment. The timepiece wears easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, quite comfortable, nestling down, easily sitting underneath a cuff with that domed bezel and 11.2 millimeters thick. I would recommend this watch for wrists as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. Easy to wear and yet substantial in white gold. You know you're wearing something special. You have those lovely claw or cow horn lugs. We'll get a little bit closer right here and look at some of the detail. There is a black strap medium rectangular scale alligator leather, I should say, with a little bit of bolstering, a sheer side, calfskin on the underside. Note the use of pull tab spring bars to quickly remove the strap without a tool. Note that this is a brand new Voudelainen factory strap and it is marked as such. There is a matching carry Voudelainen pin buckle, the watch in white gold, so too is the buckle with a handsome teardrop profile and a lovely combination of polish and satin with the master's own name. Note the little recess for the pin inside the buckle. Attention to detail. The case band is beautiful all of high polish. Its distinguishing marks are, of course, the handsome lugs which break dramatically from the case band and are evocative of 1940s Vacheron. There is a simple cylindrical crown, polished outboard, and the entire case is of high polish with an overlapping lip featuring the case back and the bezel joining with the mid case. Now, the bezel itself has a domed structure. You can see the dial is true rose lathe guilloche, and Voudelainen makes his own Kumblemine Cadran creating a lovely guilloche pattern, as well as a center that is guilloche cut and then lacquered with a blue translucent lacquer to create what's known as a flinke effect. You will also note the use of white gold indices and tri-Arabic numerals, several different guilloche patterns rendered on the style. You can see the satin finish on the minutes track outboard, the Clou de Paris underneath the hour track. There's a lovely expanding, almost spherical suggestive checkerboard pattern at center and then a billowing rose lathe pattern on the small seconds down at six o'clock. Turn it all over and you can see, well, the namesake of the watch. Caliber Vauntweet or 28. This is the Caliber 28 because it is the 28th movement created by Kerry Voudelainen. You'll note there's a nickel anthracite coating on all of the bridges to give them a darker and more intense impression when viewed. In person, it's superb in detail and dramatic in overall effect. Black polished cap to the crown wheel. You can see that the ratchet wheel features a black polished click and then a polished center with a solar spiral outboard. The actual teeth, let's see how close we can get, but the actual teeth of the the ratchet wheel, they are polished and beveled. That's attention to detail second to none. Note that there is a specular finished black polished full bridge for the balance, which is free sprung. The two features providing excellent shock resistance. There is an oversized balance of enormous inertia with variable inertia golden nuts built in. You can see how they're recessed with a perfectly round rim to reduce the amount of aerodynamic interference as this beats away at 18,000 vibrations per hour. Now, I'm gonna fire it up. You can see the overcoil made by hand. It features a Grossman inner curve and a Phillips outer curve. So the attachment to the collet is the, the Grossman curve and the attachment to the stud is the Phillips curve. So double coils making for concentric beating in every position and the watch is adjusted in six positions. Now at 18,000 vibrations per hour, it beats away in a slow and stately pocket watch inspired cadence. You can see the freehand engraved rose gold Voudelainen nameplate. There's another one with the individual serial number underneath. I want to emphasize that you can see the two blue direct impulse escape wheels. It is a double direct impulse escapement modeled 
after Brigade's natural escapement. Manual one, 65 hour power reserve. The extra power reserve, despite the single barrel possible because of the minimal friction imparted by these escape wheels, which only impulse the balance directly in its current direction of travel in either direction. There is no Swiss lever, and this is a huge improvement for precision as well as reserve to mosh. All of this beautifully executed. You can see the Cote de Genève across the bridges, engine turned perlage on the base plate, abundant black polish on many surfaces from the screws to the balance bridge. And then, of course, there is that mirrored anglage, which is so broad, fat, glossy, and gleaming on the edge of every bridge that you can appreciate it without the benefit of a loop. You simply do not need it. All of the screws featured polished heads, black polished, with chamfered slots and circumference. And you can see every jewel and screw countersink features that same mirrored anglage. Let's fire it up, and you can see it beating away at its characteristically slow cadence. A watch that is a pleasure to wind with a wonderful detent and ratchet. Start it up. Many direct impulse escapements need a little bit of a shake to start. And you can see this is poetry in motion. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com. 30 meters water resistant, but oh well, no one's perfect. <laughs> My favorite watch of the day.